My name is Sean Ford, front of mechanic for the number 15 car, driven by Graham Ray Hall hyphen Force. And today we're going to show you how to put on the aero screen. First, we have the halo. We have the windscreen. This weighs about 27 and a half pounds. This weighs about 18.6 ish. So the whole thing weighs about 26.1 pounds plus hardware and plus some of the the covers and stuff. So it's right about 50 pounds. So obviously the primary function of this would be to, uh, is for driver safety. So that's uh, obviously the number one good thing. Some of the uh, challenges per se would be when they added this, there was a lot of testing that the engineers needed to do because it uh, caused low grip and understeer. So there was a lot of catch up work that teams had to do because yes, it's the same car, but they added weight to the top of the car. And generally if you're an engineer, you like the weight lower and forward. So that caused a lot of challenges. I think people have done pretty well catching up with it and kind of have sorted all that out. <clears throat> Some of the, um, another challenge would be, uh, it makes it um, pretty hard for anyone over a 30% BMI to get in the car, yours truly. All right, first thing we'll do is set the halo on there. Step stool for short people. So the halo itself is bolted down to the tub with 14 bolts. So there's quite a little bit to do there. Um, let's get started. Just a little tip too, when you put this on, if you forget to get these, put these covers on first, you can get them on after the fact, but it's pretty difficult. So got to always remember to have those sitting on there first. When you put one of these cars together, <clears throat> you want to have everything done you can possibly think of inside because like I said, once you put that on, for a mechanic to get in there, it's pretty tough. So you just want to make sure that you have it all sorted out, everything's been checked, the uh, DAGs, data acquisition guys have plugged in, checked the electrical system, checked all that stuff, and it's really good to just make sure you're squared away there. Okay, everything's started now, so we can snug this up and everything will be snugged up and ready to be torqued. Okay, so now we'll torque everything, get it all uh, squared away, and then we can move on to the aerostrip. Okay, so the, for the one bolt that's low clearance, we have to use the dog bone. So when you torque something with a dog bone, you have to make sure that it's on the torque wrench, it's 90 degrees. Because anything else, any other angle will actually affect what the real torque number is. So if it's 90, it's the same as just using a standard and that'll be the same number. All right, so you might say, Sean, why are you doing that? You already did that. I'm just gonna double check everything because if I was driving a car like this, I'd want somebody to make sure that everything was right and it took a little extra time to do it twice, it wouldn't bother me. So I'm gonna take a little extra time, just go over it one more time and then we'll be good. Okay, so we've done our second round there and the halo's now on, so we're gonna move on to the aero screen. 
So this weighs about 18 and a half pounds and it's pretty awkward and uh, super expensive. So we're careful with this when we put it on. The wires you see at the end is an aero, an aero screen heater. So if it gets cold or rainy, it'll help keep it you know, warmed up so the drivers can see through it. Again, we'll kind of get everything started and situated so everything's in there and then we'll go back and tighten them all up. Okay, so now that we have them all snugged up, we're gonna go back over them. We're gonna torque them to 22 inch pounds. So if you over tighten these, it can damage the aero screen and these things are not cheap. As you can see, it's not much. so many. Now that we have all the bolts in the aero screen and everything's torqued properly, we'll put the covers on the rear. They have a tab, so you need to get this tab started first and then we'll push it down in place. Yeah, whatever. All right, so now we'll plug in the lead for the camera, which is here. Again, we make sure and lay that down inside of there so it doesn't get caught or pinched. Okay, for our last step, this is the vent. And since we're going to St. Pete, we'll have a right-hand fill. The fuel probe will go in the right-hand side. We'll put Graham's helmet vent on the left. Once the aero screen's installed, we'll get some black aero stickers. 
and put them over the uh, screws just to sort of blend everything in and uh, keep up that appearance. That's how you assemble and install an aero screen. Thank you for joining me this week on Text Tuesday. We'll see you next time.